In this video, we're gonna talk about where the weight needs to be in the feet to start the backswing. Okay, Mike, we had a question come in from possibly the best name in golf, <laughs> Keith right. Hacker, awesome name. And the question was, he has a hard time, or how do we help him not have his weight on the right side to start the backswing? So he feels like he's, he's already over here, he doesn't know how to get things moving, and that makes a lot of sense to me, and I know it does to Mike, yeah. he's the expert here on this subject. This is a really common issue with a lot of golfers, like, all right, the ball's not moving, I'm not moving, and I know the backswing goes this way. So eventually you wind up just kind of creeping and creeping it over there. The problem with that is now you've shifted your mass pretty far to the right. And when you start moving the club, arms and hands, more mass goes over here. So either left with fat shots off the back foot, or you're really going to start throwing that weight around. And it's just not a great way to do it. So Keith Hacker, Never bet a guy with hacker in his name because mm. you're set up to fail. <laughs> but Keith, what I would recommend you doing is setting up more 50-50. Like, a great way to do this, just close your eyes. You'll get a really good sense of where you're set up. Forget golf position. Just do it standing up and just settle yourself with your eyes closed. Now, as you get ready to move the club, push off the front foot. So I'm going to get push off the front foot to start the club right there almost like a little reverse step drill mm. to start the club. That's going to really kind of reboot your urge or feel like you need to do one of these jobs or even setting up over here. It's going to reverse that. And I want you to push off. This is what we see the great ball strikers do. They push off this front foot to get something going. Then you immediately start to switch in both feet. So they've actually created some motion before the motion. So would you say you see a little more of a pressure spike? You know, if we start going back to data with the best players. Right. A little pressure spike in the left foot to start right. with. Uh, the tour average is right around 55% on the front foot. And it's not really that they're just hanging out 55%. They're actually pushing off, which when the system captures the data, you're going to see even a, a sometimes a 70% spike on the front foot. It's not because they're waiting on that front foot. It's pressure. It's they're pushing off. It's pressure. That's what we're after to start this motion, just like you would if you were hitting a baseball, throwing a baseball, whatever. You're not going to kind of, you, you want to get behind the ball in the backswing, so okay. You can keep going that way. It's, it's more of a push off the front foot onto the back foot. Do you think that could start too with the classic reverse K? No, I'm so weighted over here. Yeah, you? you've just put a ton of mass over that back foot. So again, that's why I'd like to get golfers kind of eyes closed, feel 50-50 and just kind of find a neutral setup rather than thinking golf position, you know, shoulder alignments and all that. Get like an athlete, get neutral, and then give it a little bit of movement down below. Beautiful. I think that'll help anybody get set up the right way and start getting the pressure moving Absolutely. It's, it's a very short motion. Starting from an athletic position is a great way to do it. All right, let us know if this is helping you in your swing. Let us know if you're kind of a camp out on the backside guy. Give this a try. I think you're really going to see not only club head speed pick up, but just your dynamic movement overall. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Click the big golf ball. You'll get the next video just as soon as it comes out.